Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. They have the daily challenge for March 22nd, 2024. The character at the Ironclad and the Mother Parser and Sandy start with a random deck of 50 cards. Purple cards, purple cards don't appear in rewards and shops. And deadly events, question mark rooms cannot contain elites, but are also more likely to contain treasure rooms. So with Sandy and purple cards and red cards, it might be hard to get a lot of collector bonuses, but I'll try to do that. And of course, with deadly events, I have to maximize question mark rooms. I see Magia with 1498, Vorpal with 1396. Uh, it's 100 points apart. Yeah, let's just get started and see how I can do. Yesterday, I did not do too well, so hopefully for a slightly better finish today let's sort eight and z okay two crescendos that is not bad two drop kicks two empty bodies two follow-ups three halts yeah okay so highlander is impossible or very unlikely um so then feel no pain is interesting i might i don't see a lot of this uh, exhaust synergies though i also don't have i have one tranquility is that the only way for me to exit the wrath that i'll able to enter with the crescendos no and i also have two empty body and one empty fist not or empty mind not as many cards as i'd like to allow me to sort of switch stances but um yeah let's just see what happens here there is a um a battle hymn that i might consider upgrading just to have reliable attack every turn two elite paths on the left only one elite path on the right if i go on the left i'll get one two three question mark rooms which is a little on the low side if i go on the right i'll get not much more just a four question mark room so yeah i think i'll go on the guaranteed oh actually i missed the path on the left that gives me four question mark rooms yeah if i start on the right take the three question mark rooms and then pivot left yeah let's do that mm -hmm. i am pretty sure though that the first four floors can't give you an elite though yeah because I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's something special about the first few question mark rooms and also it sort of makes sense it would be very difficult to get um an elite that early all right uh i think i'm safe to do tantrum here and then cleave and bowling bash and then i think i should be able to kill once i get a good attack like a follow-up good all right clash cleave or body slam um i do have one clash one cleave i think i will take wait how many body slams do i have none interesting uh let me take a cleave a second cleave then okay all right, here's my first Curse Pain, as well as the Warp Tongues. At the start of your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for the, for the rest of combat, which is actually really good. One Curse and 50 cards is not going to be, hopefully, that horrible, and the Relic will trigger every turn, which is great. Uh, can I kill here? Yeah, I can, I can just do Pummel Strike and Pummel Strike again. Okay. So we're promoting Evaluate or Clash. This is a third Clash being offered here, or a second Clash being offered, the third one I could have had. I don't have any Sword Boomerangs. What was the other one? Evaluate. The clash might just be a problem. Fine, let's give in and let's take the clash. Okay. All right, here I'm losing 7, 12 HP to get ice cream. Energy is not conserved between turns. That's a rare relic, right? Very happy with that. Might make the fight against the Legavulan easier. Infernal Blade gives me follow-up. I can't play the signature move, unfortunately, but I can kill this one with the cleave, follow-up, iron wave, and might as well do evaluate. Mm -hmm. All right, and then here I... Let me see what the Infernal Blade gives me. Thunderclap. All right, let's do Inflame. Uh, I think... Let me do Thunderclap first, and then I'll do Wreath of Flame. Actually, would that... No, that would... Uh, uh, that would have been enough to kill. All right, I guess I delayed it for no reason. And now, looks like I won't be able to kill at all. Uh, no, Reach Heaven doesn't. Good. All right, got a Smoke Bone Potion, which I probably don't need. Iron Wave, Bowling Bash, or Meditate. Meditate might be a great way to exit Wrath. Even though I don't have a copy of it, I do have a Bowling Bash, and I'm pretty sure I had an Iron Wave as well. And lots of iron. Oh, I have two iron waves. Yeah, I think I'll take the meditate though. I think it's a very powerful card. All right, got the lice here. Uh, Pummel strike is ten damage. Not as much as I'd like. Um, perfected strike is sixteen. Okay, you want? Let's kill this one with the perfected strike, and then uh, who's my final boss, by the way? Okay, I don't need to lose HP. Uh, let's just do pummel strike then. I'm healing back six at the end of the fight anyway, so I think it's okay to lose a little bit of HP here, and it makes my life easier. Um, here I can do another pummel strike. Iron Wave 1, Iron Wave 2, and then I can kill the Backliner with any... Actually, wait, does the... No, the Backliner... Yeah, let's just kill here. I was trying to think maybe I should get combo with Study, but I think it's fine. Uh, Cut Through Fate is really good, but I don't have a single copy of it, and I do have two copies of Iron Wave. Let's take a third one. Try to go for a collector bonus on that. All right, got the Sentries here. I do have Feel No Pain. Oof. Not good. So I can exhaust the Pummel. That will give me three block, but I need more than that. I do have Swivel. Yeah, I can do Swivel, Feel No Pain, and Pummel, right? That's, I think, the only safe way to make sure that I can perfect this one. Or survive this, or perfect this particular turn. Okay. Unfortunately, next turn I might have trouble. Oh, um... If I do Crescendo, I'll have 36, but then I'll also have 18 plus 12, which is 30. 
with the Iron Wave at 35. I'm so close. Unfortunately, I mean, it's the best thing I can do. It's just, uh, it's just a shame that I'm very close to, but not quite there yet. I hope I didn't miscalculate. No, 38. I did miscalculate. All right, never mind. Fully defended here somehow. And in Wrath, which means next turn might be even harder. Mm. Well, there's a Halt. That's good. Um, and Clash is 32. That's not enough to kill. With Wreath of Flame, it would be, though. Halt, Metallicize, Wreath of Flame, and then Clash. Okay. This is going surprisingly well. Let me see if I can keep that going. All right, so here, Perfected Strike is 46. That kills this one, and follow-up kills this one. Wow, all right, Perfected this one. That was a miracle a little bit. We got the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as an Entropic Brew. And I I do have a Blood for Blood, right? I don't have any of the other cards. I would like a Flame Barrier, but I also wouldn't mind an extra way to enter Wrath. But let's take a Flame Barrier. I think the defense is more important, especially for the upcoming boss. I think here I'll skip a rest side. Let's just do a regular fight. Out of so many cards, it's going to be hard to choose what to upgrade. 21, that's not enough. Uh, let's do Pummel Strike follow-up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess I'll just do Halt and Perfect the Strike. Mm -hmm. And then here, Reach Heaven is enough to kill. Beautiful. We got a Fear Potion and a Warcry Lesson Learned Iron Wave. Do I want to go for rare cards? No. Again, in a large deck like this, it's going to be hard to draw the rare card on time. Let's take a Collector Bones on the Iron Wave first. Mm-hmm. And then here I got Captain's Wheel at the start of your third turn, gain 18 block. Very useful. And then question mark from Elite with the Grumman Knob. Okay. Um, I think I'll throw the Fear Potion here. Because that will hopefully increase the amount of damage I can deal this turn and maybe be enough to kill next turn. I only have six incoming. Actually, I got a dropkick here and a pummel strike to kill. Beautiful. All right, perfect this one. Thanks to that one potion. We got Stone Calendar at the end of turn seven. Deal 52 damage to all enemies. Perfected Strike number two, or Deceive Reality number one. I think Deceive Reality is better here. Yeah, it's a great defensive card. All right, got these centers again. See, if I had the Leg of Ulan, I would be in a much better spot. But let's see. So here, I would like to play the Deceive Reality. Let's do that. Then Iron Wave, the weaker one, and then Prostrate. And I guess that's I'll wait here. The safety is a good, well, safety to have, but I will need a little bit more than that. Bloodletting doesn't exhaust. There's Third Eye, though. Yeah, so safety in Third Eye is enough. Let's do Feel No Pain, Bloodletting. Then Third Eye, Curate my next. And next end, I'm fully defended, so I don't need this. Flame Barrier is good. I probably don't need the Iron Wave either. Oh, I can draw the Flame Barrier now. Fine, let's draw it now. Mm, I messed up. Well, I probably would have drawn it anyway. Bowling Bash. No, not Flame Barrier. Bowling Bash, right? Yeah, so I can still do Bowling Bash. 21. And then I, I need to do play the safety here. That's fine, that's fine, okay. So next turn, I'm fully defended. And then here, I can do... Hummel Strike you. Then follow-up, okay. Then Pummel. Could have considered entering Wrath here, actually. Yeah, that might have been a good idea. Well, I still have some time. Okay. 18. Swivel is free. Um, yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll do Swivel and then Meditate. Probably the Perfected Strike. That's my strongest attack card, right? Okay. And then next turn, I think I'll do Crescendo. Ooh, Signature Move is interesting, but I have to play the Perfected Strike first. Let's do Crescendo first, then Perfected Strike. Oh, that's actually not enough. I should have considered playing the Inflame, huh? All right. Then I sort of have to waste 84 damage on 10, 10 HP left. And then let's do the Tranquility. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done the Tranquility. Maybe I should have stayed in Wrath. Uh, luckily, I should be able to kill here, though, right? Good. Okay, perfect this one, too. We got one scale. Sardish come with three thorns as well as a flurry of blows. I don't switch stances often, but I do switch them sometimes. I do have two drop kicks. Let's take a third drop kick, even though I don't really have that much vulnerability. Um, I think I'll upgrade the Battle Hymn. A little dangerous because it does fill up my hand, my opening hand, but I think it's worth it. Do I want to shop? No, I think I'll do another regular fight. All right, so here, let's see what the foreign influence gives me. Sash Whip, Ball Lightning, or Heavy Blade. I don't have strength, so let's take the Sash Whip, I guess. And then Sanctity, Battle Him. I was really hoping to play the, um, the Clash, but I can't do that. Let's do... Oh, I'm actually going to take some damage here. I didn't realize that. Should have weakened the backliner, but I think it's fine. I'm okay taking a little bit of damage here. Infernal Blade gives me blood for blood for free, which is nice. Another dropkick. Great. 
Uh, the enemy will not transform yet, right? So, um, yeah, let's just wait. And then I think I'll try to transform in a turn where I have lots of smites. I'll make my life easier too. All right, let's do Seeing Red, Wreath of Flame, play these smites, Iron Wave, and another Iron Wave. And then that should be almost enough to kill next turn. Just need four extra damage, um, like so. All right. Okay, got a Fire Potion, Fire Breathing, Bludgeon, or Headbutt. I don't think I take the rare card. Let's take the bludgeon because I don't think I need fire breathing either. All right, fungi beasts. Uh, no one is attacking me. Let's do cleave follow up, and then um, I can kill one of them with the pummel strike. And let's do wall strike. I don't even need battle him because I'm pretty sure I can come up with five damage next turn. Yep. All right, got an energy push, which I'll take over the smoke bomb, and then entrench iron wave for sweet boomerang. I didn't. I already have enough iron waves. I did, yeah, so I don't need another one. I guess I'll take a Sword Boomerang or Entrench. Entrench is a little too expensive, and I don't think I have enough block for it to be worth it. it. Might be better if it was upgraded. Is there something else I can upgrade to for it to become innate? No, so I think in that case I'll upgrade the powers, either Metal Size or Feel No Pain. Let's start with the Metal Size. Hmm. And I have to get a little lucky with this uh, with this boss. Uh, there's there's a, a lot of good defensive cards on turn one where I don't really need them. Uh, let's do Battle Him, Wreath of Flame... And then, yeah, might as well do Swivel. Okay. Okay, so here I could do Crescendo and then Exit Wrath with the Empty Body. Yeah, why not? Let's do Crescendo. Then the most damage is the Smite, actually, right? Yeah, let's do Smite. Okay. Then um, the second most is Reach Heaven. Oh, no, I need I need to play one energy. I need to save one energy to play the Empty Mind. Empty Body, I mean. So, yeah, let's just do Cleave, Dropkick, and then Empty Body. Okay. All right, this turn I'm full of Defender, which is great. Uh, I can even play a few attacks. Um, do I want to do Meditate? Probably. Yeah, let's do... I can play three attacks, right? Um, although I do want to do Meditate. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll just do Smite, Pommel Strike, and then Meditate. I'll probably bring back Flame Barrier for next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. 16. Yeah, here I got the Flame Barrier and the Evaluate to be fully defended. Good. Not happy that I haven't played any of my powers yet. Any of my good powers. Alright, so here I would love to apply vulnerability. There's an uppercut for free. Oh, it's not free. It's almost free. Hmm. Good to dropkick, but that's not enough damage. Actually, if I play the Infernal Blades, I could play the Clash as well, right? Let's do Infernal Blade 1, Infernal Blade 2. Okay. Then we have Wallop here, Heavy Blade. Then Clash. And then I could transfer... Well, I have to transform, otherwise I'll take too much damage, right? So, yeah, let's just play the upgraded smite, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another nine. Okay, luckily I do have prostrate third eye. I do need some block cards next turn, so let's get rid of everything that's not a block, block card. Then halt, and I can play the pommel strike as well. All right, and that is it. Yep. Mm -hmm. 16. Uh, there's empty body that gives me energy back. Uh, yeah, let's do Empty Body, Deceive Reality, and I unfortunately also have to play the Safety, right, to be fully defended. Yeah, let's do Study, and I have to do Safety. It does mean I can play two attacks. Let's do Smite 1, Smite 2. Okay. And the Stone Calendar actually helping me out here, because I just need a Smite to kill. Beautiful. All right, perfect everything so far. Very happy with how this is going. And yes, I'm going to go for the Popper modifier, so I'm going to skip all of those. Oof, not upgrading although again in a large deck like this is there something i desperately need to upgrade not really i definitely don't want sozu and i probably don't want busted crown it'll make collector bonuses much harder let's take the fusion hammer again energy at the start of your turn you can no longer smith the rest sites so now i really don't want to hit um rest sites at all all right so did i see a three lead path one two three i did beautiful um and that path has one two three early crush mark rooms another one later so four crush mark rooms total I wonder if I should skip an elite to get two extra crush mark rooms because that might also make Mystery Machine easier. Because right now I have four. If I continue to on the path that I looked here, it'll be eight total. So I'll need seven on the next act. Whereas if I skip one elite, I'll lose a total of, well, perfecting it. Assuming I perfect it, it'll be 45 points. But I'll get Mystery Machine, which is 25. And maybe another elite out of that. Let's get there first and then decide. Shield Parasite, I can play the Clash if I do Flame Barrier, Battle Him, and then Clash, good. And then let's do Pummel Strike, alright. Mm -hmm. Another 10 um, here, I can fully defend with the Evaluate, uh, Halt, Deceive Reality, 
And then let's see what the Sanctity gives me. All right, let's do Wreath of Flame, and then next turn I can play the Smite or something. Okay, I fully defended here already. You know what? Let's do Crescendo. Why not? I have the um, Hold as well. I can deal 34 damage with one Smite and another 24 with another, and then I can kill here. Good. All right, Fire Breathing, Bloodletting, or Carnage is interesting. Although I do already have a copy of Bloodletting, right? So just for the sake of collector bonuses, let me take another one. Here, I got a shop. Good. Membership card is great. 50% discount on all products. I am thinking of Shuriken and Ceramic Fishing on. Let me see. Nothing amazing in the cards. Nothing that gives me collector bonuses. I already have one on the Iron Wave. Yeah, let's just buy the relics. Whenever you add a card to your deck, gain 9 gold. And every time you play 3 attacks in a single turn, gain 1 strength. And then since I have leftover gold, why don't I just take the Shrug it off, Crush Joints, and Havoc too? Why not? Okay. All right, that's actually a great jump. Everything with membership card makes it great. Do I want to take the Ritual Dagger? It's going to be really hard to use here. No, I think I'll take the Golden Set. Again, it's going to be... I would have to draw it in the right turn, which is unlikely. All right, and then here I am lacking a little bit of uh, AoE damage, right? Let's do Third Eye. Okay, never mind. Bowling Bash is a good AoE card. Um, and then, yeah, let's just do Soul. Mm -hmm. Also, I have Thorns, right? So the enemies will take a bunch of damage back once they attack me. With their multi hits. Okay. Um, let me actually bowling bash you. Okay. And then let's do pummel strike, smite, and iron wave. Okay. And now I am fully defended with the metallicize, and the back line will actually take a bunch of damage as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then here, uh, I can't play the signature move, right? Yeah, I have too many attacks. Uh, let's do perfect the strike to kill you, then follow up smite, and then do signature move. Sure, why not? Okay. All right. Uh, heavy Blade Pummel Strikes were boomerang. I feel like I have a bunch of Pummel Strikes, right? Oh, yeah, I have three. All right, let's get a Collector Bonus on the Pummel Strike. And then here I got the Centurion and the Mystic. Uh, Ten or uh, 20 incoming. If I get a Steady here, I might try to stall to get combo. Because that might be fun. Uh, Sport Boomerang is nice. Unfortunately, I'll take some damage, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Another 12. Yeah, there's a Steady right there. Let's do study. Um, let me do something like a third eye and infernal blade. Yeah, this looks fine. And then sanctity to draw the infernal blade. Hopefully, okay. I was hoping it will give me vulnerability. Give me another drop kick instead. All right, let's say iron wave. Play the free drop kick and then another drop kick and a smite. Okay. Could have done crescendo and then empty body as well. That's definitely an option. All right. So here I'm full of defender. You know what? Let's do it now. Let's do crescendo, pummel strike, then a smite. Uh, wave, no, uh, let's do Metallicize, Halt, and wait. Mm -hmm. Alright, back then it's tanking for 16. I do have the Empty Body, which is great. Let's do Crush Joints. I don't want to kill... Oh, actually, this might get me close. And I have Thorns, right? So I have to be a little careful. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's not risk it. Let's just do Evaluate, and then I'll do a Smite while not in Wrath. Okay. The problem is I will get a bunch of Smites, right? So the Insights and the Smites will counteract each other. I probably shouldn't have taken... Um, hang on, let's do... This will kill, right? Yeah, let's do flame. Probably shouldn't have played the well plan uh, the um, battle him if I was planning to go for combo, but I still will give it a chance. Um, let's do smite here and wait. Actually, I could headbutt. Um, I could headbutt a study to get or evaluate to get another insight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I completely forgot about the um, stone calendar. Yeah, fine. Forgot about that. All right. We got a skill potion, which I don't think I'll take. Flying sleeves, indignation, or battle him. Second battle, he might be too much, although I don't have a single Flying Sleeves or Indignation, right? So, yeah, fine. I mean, I might try to get a Collector bonus out of that, and then going left for two more Elites, or three more Elites, really. Okay, Book of Stabbing. Wave the Hand is interesting. I, there's no way I can defend here, though, right? Yeah, absolutely nothing I can do. Unless I got really lucky with the Entropic Brew, but I don't want to waste a bunch of potions for that, although this would be my first loss of a Perfect. Maybe it is worth it. Let's drink this, throw this, and then drink this. Okay, there's a speed potion. That would be 11. Still not enough. Let me see what the colorless potion gives me. Dramatic entrance, panache, good instincts. So this would be... Um, wait, I said 11? It should be 13. Um, but yeah, this would this would be 13, 23. Uh, fine, let's do it. Let's waste a bunch of potions here. Uh, I definitely want to do wave the hand. Then, um, wait, so this is 12, 22. Yeah, let's do the speed potion. Drink this, or play these. And then do battle him, headbutt, what? I guess I'll headbutt a, an evaluate, sure. Okay. Alright, Eden coming. Um, here, halt is great. 
Not quite enough. Let's do Sanctity to draw. All right, then Metallicize. That's really good. Foreign Influence gives me Claw, Weave, or Flying Sleeves. Not a huge fan, but let's take the Weave. And then I could do Crescendo. That'll be um, nine times two, right? No, that won't be enough. I have 17 only. I do have an Evaluate, though. I don't want to exit Wrath with the Meditate. Yeah, let's save the Meditate for something else. So here, I think I'll just do Evaluate, Weave, and then I'll Meditate. Let's bring back a good attack. Let's do Sanctity for card draw, okay? Mm -hmm. So here I'm fully defended, which is great. I do have a pain too, though, which is annoying. But fine. Let's do Crescendo Sanctity. Okay. Then Thunderclap. Pummel Strike. Mm -hmm. And then I could do Feel No Pain to play the Smites. Smite 1, Smite 2. That allows me to be fully defended. Uh, let's do Havoc. Almost strike. Beautiful. All right, perfect. So I'm very happy with that. Had to use a bunch of potions, so. Yet Kunai, every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. As well as an essence of steel potion, which is nice. Pressure points, tranquility. I know I have one tranquility. How many perfected strikes do I have? Also just one. Let's take a second perfected strike, hoping to make the other one or both of them stronger. Okay. All right, here, starting off with the pain, which is annoying. Let's do wave of the hand, prostrate, and battle him and nothing else. Okay. Mm-hmm. 19. Um, let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me. Brilliance. All right. And then let's see what the Foreign Influence gives me. Hemokinesis or Clothline. Let's take the Clothline for the weakness. All right. And then let's do Empty Body, Smite. That's not quite enough. And then let's meditate back. Um, probably the Brilliance. And, oh, right. It's upgraded and Prostrate. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. This turn I'm almost fully defended. Uh, let's do Sanctity to actually be fully defended. All right. Then Prostrate, Brilliant, Smite. Uh, let's do Pummel. No, uh, Wild Strike is more damage than the Pummel. Actually, I could have done Evaluate and then I, and the Clash. That would have been even more damage. Mm, can I deal 27 damage here? I think I can, especially with the Blood for Blood. And uh, Smite. Great, great. All right, Shockwave, Sword Boomerang, or Light Water. I think I picked that one sh uh, Sword Boomerang. I don't have any of the other. Shockwave would be great with the extra energy. Actually, let's take the Shockwave just because it is a good, pretty good card. Okay, Grumman Leader, who's not attacking me on turn one. Let me start off with Foreign Influence, Meteor Strike. It's not going to be free, so I can't play it. Let's do Thunderclap. Then do Crush Joints. Hang on. Pummel Strike is going to be 15 with Vulnerability, right? So Thunderclap is not quite enough. Let's do Crush Joints, Thunderclap. Then Pummel Strike. I have to kill this one first. Yep, and then Dropkick. Okay, that was lucky. And then um, let's do Prostrate and battle him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Backlander is attacking, unfortunately, and I don't have enough. 27. The best I can do is Flame Barrier, Iron Wave. It'll be 1225. So that's not quite enough. I think I'll drink the Block Potion. That way I can just play one Iron Wave, and then I can even do Meditate. And let's bring back um, the enemies not vulnerable. Actually, was that up Meditate upgraded? Yes. Let's do Crush Joint and Drop Kick. Mm -hmm. All right. So here I'm defended, even though I don't need to be. Let's do Crescendo, Crush Joints, uh, Drop Kick, then Follow Up, Smite 1, Smite 2. Actually, the 1 Smite was enough. Good. Got Oddly Smooth Stone Surge, come with 1 Dexterity, Prostrate, Fire Breathing, or Worship. Worship is interesting. It will be difficult to enter Divinity, but possible. How many Prostrates do I have? Two. Yeah, I think just for the sake of Collector Bonus, I'll take a third Prostrate done. Okay. Toxic Egg, whenever you add a skill into deck upgraded. Very nice. And here I got the Snake Plant, who is attacking me for 21. This is why I want to take Shockwave here. Let's do Shockwave, Sanctity. Uh, play two Prostrates, allow me to be fully defended and battle him. Okay, pretty good start. Mm -hmm. Another 15. Um, let's do Prostrate, Crush Joints, Halt. Infernal Blade gives me a Tantrum, which is dangerous. 2448. Is that going to be enough to kill? Uh, you know what? I'm going to risk it. Because I think this is 48, and then Bowling Bash is enough. Beautiful. It was close, though. All right, Evaluate Mental Fortress Flame Barrier. I feel like I have a bunch of Evaluates. I know I have one Mental Fortress... Uh, Flame Barrier, I mean. Where are my Evaluates? Oh, just one, two. All right. Okay, I don't have any of these. I guess between these two, I have the energy to play the Flame Barrier, so let's take it. And then, yeah, going this way, and then I can decide which way to go. We got Gear You can gain Strength that resets up to three times, which is great, because I can't upgrade anything. Yeah, I think one guaranteed lead is better than two question mark rooms. Now, theoretically, two question mark, three question mark rooms, I think, uh, I think Shadow mentioned a while ago that it's a 20% chance. 
And, well, it's, it also accumulates, though, right? The fact that I haven't had a lead in a while means uh, it's just tough. I'm also really hoping to get Mr. Machine. No, let's take the safe path. Let's take the path with the guaranteed lead. All right, so here I can do Shockwave Dropkick, which is also one of the reasons I picked up the Shockwave. And then let's see what the Havoc plays. That's a Heavy Blade. All right, and then battle him. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, 12 incoming. Ooh, two drop kicks. That's great. And then let's do an... Actually, let me see what the Foreign Influence gives me. Da, da, da. Yeah, I was hoping for an AoE damage card. Okay. And then let's do Pummel Strike. And Infernal Blade gives me a Fear No Evil, which allows me to enter Calm. And then I can do Iron Wave here and be fully defended. I don't... I mean, I was going to say I don't even need to play Bloodletting, but let's do that because that will guarantee to kill next turn with the Smite. I don't have to delay this more than I have to. Got a Swift Potion, Crescendo, Twin Strike, or Iron Wave. I already have enough Iron Waves, no Twin Strikes, and how many Crescendos? Just two, right? Let's take a third one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, Book of Stabbing again. Last time I had a lot of potions to help me. This time, I don't think I'm going to use the Swift Potion because I don't think I really stand a chance here. Yeah, let's uh, lose the Perfect here, which is a bummer. Yeah, the first Perfect I'm losing. All right, fine. That's okay, though. I, I think it's fine. I, I think it's better to save the potions for the boss fight. All right, here, let's do Iron Wave, Pummel Strike, mm -hmm, Sword Boomerang, and then Prostrate. All right, and then let's see what the Havoc plays. That's a Shockwave. Very nice. Mm -hmm. All right, 15. Fully Defended here. Let's do Feel No Pain, which is great. I don't think I'll risk Crescendo just yet. Let's do Prostrate, Cleave, and save the energy for a turn where I can go crazy with my Crescendos and Smites. Yeah, uh, this might be it. Yeah, let's do Crescendo, Smite 1, Smite 2, that's enough to kill. Okay. That question card, future card awards, and one additional card to choose from, as well as the Elixir Potion, and I don't have any of these, but Cutthroat Fate might be the better card there. Mm -hmm. Cultist and the Chosen. Um, Halt is pretty good. Yeah, let's play Halt for sure, then do Pummel, battle him. I mean, if I don't want to take any damage, I could do Empty Body, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, six incoming. Let's do Seeing Red Shockwave. I could do Wave the Hand, but I don't think I need that. Wild Strike is almost enough. The Heavy Blade is a little too much. Let's save the energy for next turn with Ice Cream. And this turn I'm uh, fully defended, although I don't get attacked. Dropkick is great. Pummel Strike. Uh, crush Joints. I would like to play a skill here. Let's do Third Eye. Uh, this looks fine next turn, actually. Then do Crush Joints, Smite, and um, Iron Wave. Or No, let's save the energy for next turn. Because I know I have a bunch of good attacks coming up next turn. Like the uh, Perfecto Strike, Smite, and that's enough. Good. All right, Clothesline, Prostrate, or Clash. I Didn't I already have three Prostrates? Yeah, let's take... As much as I like the others, let's take the Collector Bonus on the Prostrate. Dark Embrace would have been great, too. No need to rest here. Let's gain extra strength. Mm -hmm. Rounds of Tomaton. Can I kill in six turns? That might be a challenge. All right, let's start off with Battle Him, Infernal Blade. Uh, reach Heaven, and then Deceive Reality. I think I should save energy with Ice Cream, not waste it on just 5 damage. Okay, so Sanctity is pretty good. Let's do that. I do have the Safety, but ideally, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get another attack. Let's do Bloodletting for sure. Uh, should I do Wreath of Flame on the Pummel? Yeah, it would deal extra damage. Let's do it. Wreath of Flame, Pummel. Mm -hmm. Then do Pummel Strike, see what I get. Blood for Blood, not that useful yet. Evaluate is enough to be fully defended. I can save the safety for later. That seems like a good idea. Let's also do Sword Boomerang. And then um, I think that's it. Yes, let's stop here. Mm -hmm. This one took Study. That's fine. Backlander took Infernal Blade. Okay, and the Backlander is attacking, which means uh, let's kill it with the Cleave. Do I want to wave the hand? I don't have a lot of block, unfortunately. Let's do Cleave first. Okay, there's the Infernal Blade. I mean, does it make sense? Actually, let's do Empty Mind because, well, let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me. All right, Perfect the Strike is not that much, but it is something. I could kill this one with the with the second... No, let's do a Smite here. Okay. What? Let's do Study. Yeah, yeah. And I just have to really hope for a good defensive card next turn. I do have the Safety. So, yeah, I have Prostrate, Iron Wave. I have to play the Safety, right? There's no way around that. Fine, let's do Smite... Another smite, and then safety. Okay, that way I gain extra strength and dex as well. Mm -hmm. All right, and next I have the hyper beam coming up, and I have no way to really defend against that, which is a shame. Let's do insight. Ooh, I could headbutt something. Let me do shockwave first. Then, um, 
might follow up. What would I headbutt to defend me against 51? Honestly, I don't know. Um, Wave the hand would weaken, but not quite enough. Can I get something with card draw? I do have the energy. So I do have shrug it off with a bunch of decks. A bunch of defense would be also the deceive reality. Well, the deceive reality is more block, so let's grab that uh, with the headbutt. Okay. And then just hope for the best next turn. Mm -hmm. 51. All right, well, there's a free follow-up. I do have two insights. Let's see what the foreign influence gives me. Compile driver is useless. Streamline claw. Yeah, not that great, all of them. Let's grab the claw, I guess. Okay. Then do insight. All right, another insight. Metallicize is nice, but not quite enough. Another insight. Um, there is crescendo and halt, but that's not going to be enough. I think I have to drink the swift potion. Okay. Rocky Walter Havoc. Let me see what the Havoc plays. That was an Iron Wave. All right. Gives me extra decks. Still not enough, right? Um, yeah, if only I had a way to exit Wrath. Um, can I play three more attacks to trigger to gain one extra dex? Let's try this. So let's do Through Violence, Smite. Actually, could I have killed? I might have been able to kill with the Crescendo. The Through Violence alone would have dealt... Um, how much? Uh, 30 plus... Uh, plus 6, 36, 72 damage. Hmm. That was something I should have considered. Uh, let's do the drop kick here. That's enough dex now. Um, I could get one more... No, I can't get one more point of dex, right? Yeah, let's do Deceive Reality. Safety 19, that's 30, 34. And there's nothing I can exhaust that'll give me anything either. Okay, I kind of want to reload this one and see if, if I had entered Wrath, if that would have made a difference. Because I feel like I might have had enough, just barely. Let me reload real quick. I mean, obviously, I think I should be able to survive this one. I just won't be able to perfect. But let me reload and see if entering Wrath would allow me to perfect. I just I just thought there was like 200 damage I need to do. So it's going to be almost impossible. But but maybe it wasn't. Uh, so here, wait, I did Deceive Reality. I'm trying to play everything the same way. Battle him, Infernal Blade, Reach Heaven. And then I just didn't play anything to save energy with Ice Cream, right? And then here I had the Sanctity. After playing Bloodletting, okay. And then I also got the Evaluate, I thought, after maybe Pummel Strike. Yeah, there's the Evaluate, fully defended here. And then let's do Wreath of Flame. Actually, maybe I should target the Bronze Automaton then. Yeah, let's do Wreath of Flame, Pummel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little bit cheating because I know that my goal is gonna, going to be to try to kill the Bronze Automaton. But let's see if that works. Okay. And I know this turn I'm defended, so I don't need to kill the Backliner. All right. So here, let's do Cleave. I should try to play three attacks every time, right? So Smite, Smite, sure. And then might as well see what the Infernal Blade gives me. Yeah, Perfected Strike as before. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another 20. Um, yeah, Prostrate Iron Wave is not enough, even if I get one dex, one extra dex, right? So yeah, that's not going to be enough. Let's do Prostrate, or Iron Wave, then Prostrate, then Smite, or Reach Heaven. Okay. And then I have to do the safety. And let's do smite to gain extra dex and strength as well. Okay. All right. I didn't get a crescendo here, right? Let's do bloodletting, shockwave, seeing red. I wonder if I should headbutt the shockwave. Yeah, the vulnerability would be better, right? Um, hang on. Where is it? It oh it ex wait does it exhaust? Yeah, Shockwave Exhaust. Wow, that was an oversight on my part. Is there another way to apply Vulnerability then? I'd have to apply two statuses, which seems too difficult. All right, fine. Let's not do that. So then let's focus on a good damage card. Uh, Probably Signature Move. Would that be something? Yeah, that might deal a lot of damage. Let's do Signature Move. Sure. Okay. And we'll have plenty of energy, so that should help. I didn't draw the um, Crescendo, though. That's a problem. Hmm. Let me do a smite and then drink the swift potion. Still no crescendo. I must have gotten it through the insights. Okay, that makes my plan a little harder to conceptualize. Uh, let's do a follow up here. Then insight. There's a crescendo. Okay, let's risk it. Let's do crescendo. Then do halt. Metallicize burn influence. Still gives me the same thing, but scrape might be better. Was did I have scrape before? I don't think so. Uh, here I can do Clash, okay. Then follow up again. Scrape. Yeah, it doesn't give me anything. I don't think I have many zero-cost cards. Through Valence is 50, Dropkick. 
And yeah, signature move 72. Awesome. So I was right. Entering crescendo would allow me to perfect. All right. Very happy with that. We got a blessing of the forge. And uh, there's some missions, which is very tempting. But no, I think I'll skip this one. And then Mark of Pain. In a large deck like this, it wouldn't really matter. The two wounds. I don't think I'd take Runic Dome. Runic Cube. I don't really lose HP that often. I think I'll take the Mark of Pain. Gain energy at the start of your turn. At the start of combat, shuffle two wounds into your drop pile. To go with Ice Cream, I'll be able to gain a lot of energy. Too bad I don't have any x cost cards yet. Like a Whirlwind would be perfect in this deck, I think. All right. One, two, three. There are multiple three lead paths. Um, I can get three question mark groups before the first lead. A fourth one here. And then five. Yeah, I'm missing the Mystery Machine Modifier. If I had six question mark on the last act, I would have been able to get that. All right. Good to know. I actually didn't perfect that one elite I fought, right? It was the Book of Stabbing, which I wasn't able to perfect. Fine, fine. Let's do Crescendo Pummel Strike because I'm not being attacked here. Then Prostrate Crush Joints. Um, and then let's do Battle Him. And I could kill the Backliner, but no, let's save the energy. Hmm. Although I could have gained Strength Index. Right, lots of incoming here. Let's do Shockwave, Pummel Strike. Mm -hmm. And then Perfected Strike is 63. That's pretty good. And then... Oh, I cannot fully defend. I thought I could. Uh, let's do Smite. I'll take 12 damage and I should be able to kill next turn with uh, another Smite. Should make my life easier. It doesn't drag out this fight for too long. Okay. How am I doing time-wise, by the way? 32 minutes. All right. We got a Fire Push, which I think I'll skip. Perfected Strike. I think that will be Perfected Strike number 3, right? Yeah, let's take it. It's pre-upgraded too. Okay. Here I could get my second curse. I guess I'll do it. Is it still possible to get enough curses? Mm -hmm. Alright, Spiker and Exploder and Repulsor. I haven't gotten either Overclone combo yet, right? That's something I should try to work on. Havoc plays a True Grid, which exhausted the wrong card. Fine. Alright, and then here, I think I'll do Feel No Pain for an Influence, which gives me a Twin Strike, which with Wreath of Flame does a good amount of damage. And then let's do Smite and um, Pummel... No, let's do Heavy Blade U and then Pummel the Backliner. Okay. And here I have 18. Let's do Follow Up, Sword Boomerang. Okay. And then Prostrate and Smite. Okay, actually I can do Iron Wave to kill this one. And then, can I kill the backliner somehow? Perfect. Strike doesn't. Good. All right. Protect, Tranquility, Sash, Rip, Collect. Uh, well, Collect would give me a lot of miracles, but I don't think I need that. Let's take the Protect instead. Great defensive card. Here. Oof. I don't want to lose the battle him. I... Did I have enough Pommel Strikes? Yeah, I had a Collect with some Pommel Strikes, so I have to lose the Seeing Red. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Repulsor, Exploder again, and the Spheric Guardian this time. Let's do... I can't defend it all, right? Let's do Reach Heaven, Dropkick 1, Dropkick 2. That's not enough. All right, fine. It's not that far away from being able to kill. In the end, we will die on my thorns. Okay. All right, 10. Uh, let's do Bloodletting. That makes the Blood for Blood cheaper. Play that. Then do Iron Wave, Halt, and uh, Wild Strike Smite. Mm -hmm. All right. And then 20. Almost fully defended here. Let's do Bowling Bash, Cut Through Fate, um, flame Barriers, I don't think necessary. I can't play the Clash, though. Let's get rid of both, then. And Flame, Smite is 21. If I do Wreath of Flame, that is enough to kill. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can just kill with another Smite. All right. Talk to the Hand is a great card. Let's take it. Okay. And then here I got the Reptomancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my opening Hand is the problem, right? Reach Heaven is only 11. Can I do something? No, no, there's nothing I can do. I already have two innate cards. The Wraith might be anno annoying. Uh, let's do Reach Heaven. Halt 1, Halt 2. Yeah. I can. I had to kill one of them, so I just needed to get a little luck here. That's a bummer. Alright, everyone is attacking me here. Let's do Prostrate. Shrug it off. Oof. This is not good. Um, can I kill... This is only 20. I was hoping to kill the Backliner somehow. Um, wow, alright. I am actually going to take a lot of damage. Let me upgrade everything because I think... Yeah, so now I can do Wreath of Flame, Smite, and Follow Up. Mostly because that way I'll avoid taking way too much damage. I would have taken an extra 25 on top of that. Would would land with only 25 or 2 HP, which would be pretty bad. Um, I don't think I can do Crescendo here, right? Unfortunately. Uh, let's do Pummel Strike. Another Pummel Strike. And then a third Pummel Strike. Influence gives me Doom and Gloom, Hyper Beam, Sash. Let's take the Hyper Beam. It's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And then Wild Strike. Actually, 
Again, I feel like maybe if I entered Wrath, I might have been able to kill because I did have a lot of damage. Another 30. This uh, enemy just decides to attack me every turn, huh? Um, let's do Iron... Can I kill here? Do I have 50 damage without being in Wrath? No, no, I'm weakened as well, which makes things harder. Uh, let's do Wreath of Flame, uh, Blood for Blood, Smite, Iron Wave for extra dex, then Prostrate. All right, 16, that's not too bad. I'm down to 13 HP, though, so I have to be a little bit more careful. Let's do Iron Wave, Dropkick 1, Dropkick 2, Smite, and then the next Smite next turn should be enough to kill. Okay, yeah, tough fight. Didn't perfect this one. I got Potion Belt. I'm picking up, getting two Potion Slots, a Swift Potion, and Twin Strike is pretty good. I already have enough Pummel Strikes. I don't have any Rages. I actually don't have any Twin Strikes either. Let's take another Twin Strike, though, or a first Twin Strike, just to make the Perfected Strike stronger. Yeah, I do have to be careful. I don't have a lot of HP to spend or to waste. Uh, I can play everything here in Flame, Twin Strike, Protect, and Battle him. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then 20... Or no, uh, 31 incoming. Okay. Uh, Bloodletting, sure. Cut through Fate. Uh, third Eye might be good, actually. Yeah, I, I feel like I need more block. Let's play the Halt. I, actually, I should have gained Dex first. So let's do Smite to Perfect the Strike. And then do Halt. And then do Third Eye. I really hope I'm not dead yet. Um, 31. Uh, yeah, I am alive with 1 HP, right? That's not good. Because I also have a pain. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually pretty bad. Let's do Smite. Follow up, follow up. Then um, Flame Barrier. Empty Mind. Prostrate Clash and Sword Boomerang. Okay. Do I have a rest site after this? I do, actually. That's convenient, because I wouldn't mind resting. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring up back some of my HP. We've got Turner, you can only get back on Frail. Sash Rip, Cut through Fate, Reaper, Second Wind. Let's take another Cut through Fate. Yeah, yeah, I think I have to heal here. Just too little HP there. And even now, I'm not super uh, at ease. We got Pentograph, though, at the Star Boss Combat Sale. 25 HP, that's actually really nice. And then here I got the Nemesis. Yeah, one unlucky turn, and I'll be toast. Um, I can't fully defend here unless I drink the Swift Potion and get really lucky. Let's hope for something like that. Yeah, that didn't happen. Let's do Havoc. Feel no pain. Okay, unfortunately, that requires cards to exhaust, and I don't have any. I do have the Elixir. Let's do... Hang on, can I play three attacks? Let's do Inferno Blade. Emulate is great. Mm -hmm. I could headbutt something. Um, let's headbutt... Uh, what, Havoc again? Sure. And then I need one third attack... Which means I won't be able to play the battle him, but I think that's okay. Let's do Reach Heaven. Then do Evaluate. That's 11. And then I need to exhaust... I need to get to 18, right? So I need to exhaust at least... Oh, actually, all three cards I have here. Fine. Okay. I had to use two potions, but hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, no. 45. Come on, game. Why do you do me like that? Uh, let's do Flame Barrier. See what the Havoc plays. It's a Halt. Okay, that's something. Pummel Strike. Follow-up. All right. Yeah, nothing I can do. Which means I probably shouldn't have wasted that potion, right? Uh, let's put another Flame Bear back in case I get attacked again. Good thing I rested. Um, all right, so here, let's see what the Foreign Influence gives me. Skewer. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of leftover. Let's take the Sash Whip instead. Let's do Shockwave, Pummel, Sash Whip, and uh, Pummel Strike. Mm, I'm a little worried about Bloodletting, but let's play it so I can play this Smite as well. And an Iron Wave. Okay. If I have five attacks, that would be enough to kill next turn, thanks to the boot. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I do think I have five. Two, three, four, and five. Wow. Okay, survive this one. We got back operation at the Starvage Combat. Draw two additional cards, a feed, headbutt, or foresight, or clash. I think the only... Wait, how many clashes do I have? I had um, two, just two. I was offered a bunch, though. Let's take another clash, yeah, hoping to get a collector bonus. And then here, let's go on the left... And, uh, yeah, really risk it with uh, only 15 HP. Could also consider going for a shop. Let me see if this... This is not a shop. It's a head, It's a giant head. I do wonder. So, if I go to the shop, I will be able to get I like Shiny as well, right? Because right now I have 21. I'll get a 22nd one here. Let me see. Let me first survive this fight first. All right, let's do for an influence for another skewer. No, I think I'll take the unload. Then Infernal Blade gives me Wheel Kick, which is great. Let's do that. And then I think here I need Battle Him. Cut through fate. Uh, don't need any of these. So the swivel might be nice next turn. All right. 
And then here, I think I'll just do... Let's just do unload. Save the energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not being attacked. That's good. All right. Let's do feel no pain. Battle him too. Then cut through fate. Flame beer would be great next turn, but I have to... I guess I have to draw it this turn. Follow up and swivel. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. 13. I am fully defended here, which is great. Um, don't have anything cheap to play. Let's do prostrate study. And then I guess I'll do the smite. Let me save energy. Let's do clash and just another smite and uh, just gain strength index and nothing else. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a perfected strike. Only 36. That's not as much as I'd hoped. Empty mind. Pummel strike. Okay. Signature move is going to be very difficult to play here. And actually, I don't have any skills. So these are all attacks. Yeah, fine. Let's do smite one, smite two. Perfected strike is 55. If I had a crescendo, that would give me overkill. And then I cannot play... Well, actually, I could play two more attacks. Yeah, let's do crush joints and another smite. Okay. Mm -hmm. The big attacks are starting up next turn. Well, there's a crescendo. I could get overkill, but then I'll also die. Let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me. Windmill strike. Hmm... I mean, I do also have the Feel No Pain, right? So let me exhaust some cards. Let's play Crescendo. Then Wreath of Flame 1, Wreath of Flame 2. Then this is 63. Still not quite enough. Windmill Strike is 52. That's not too bad either. Yeah, let's do Windmill Strike. Then 1 Smite. It's 38. And then Tranquility. Actually, I'm dead here. Unless I drink the Essence of Steel and then I'll be alive with 1 HP again. Oh, boy. Okay. And if I draw the pain, I'm dead. Um, Flame Barrier, can I defend here? I am skeptical. I do have 30. It depends on what I'll draw. Um, can I kill? It's difficult. Let's see what I draw first with Pummel Strike. Okay, Third Eye. So I can do Flame Barrier, Prostrate, and then um, Third Eye. Get rid of the pain that was actually... And the Bloodletting. If I had drawn that, I would be in trouble. Let's do a Smite here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Stone Calendar will trigger at the end of this turn, so I feel a little better about that. Let's just play all the attacks. All right, that was a tough fight. Back to 7 HP. We got a more negate the next curse you obtain. So I don't have a lot of... Um, well, I don't have any question mark rooms anymore, so let's definitely take that. And we also got the Explosive Potion, Cleave, Hemokinesis, Clothliner, True Grit. I only have two Cleaves. So let's still take a third one. Might give me Collector Bonus. And yeah, I think I'll risk... So basically, if I... Well, first of all, if I survive this one, and somehow miraculously perfect this one, I'll get 55 gold, but going for Eyelash Shiny will give me 50. So it's almost worth it. And then I could also maybe get more collector bonuses because I do have plenty of gold left over. I am going to probably miss the Lightspeed modifier though, right? Let me first survive this one. Let's do Feel No Pain, Battle Him, Talk to the Hand, Infernal Blade gives me a Perfected Strike, and then Dropkick for Strength. Okay. Mm -hmm. 25. Okay. That's not good. Um, that's not good at all. Let's do Crescendo. Smite. Leaf. Tranquility. And Study. That's 22. I'm dead here. Um, there's nothing I can do, right? Is there something I could have done on turn one? Yeah, that would be, that would be actually unfortunate because I feel like I should be able to gain a lot of points out of the next shot, but... Maybe... Well, saving extra energy wouldn't... Maybe play the Meditate to bring what back? Let's do Feel No Pain, Battle Him. Then Talk to the Hand. Infernal Blade gives me the Perfected Strike. I guess I'll Meditate the Perfected Strike again. Not sure if that'll do anything. 25. Oh, give me extra energy with the Crescendo. Um, yeah, I mean, let's try this again. It's crescendo. Perfected Strike. Smite. Leave. Tranquility, is that just barely enough? Because right now I have 20... No, I have 22. This is just... It's not enough. Yeah, it's exactly 25. I have exactly 25. Unbelievable. And there's nothing I can do about that, right? That's a shame. That's such a shame. Because I would have rested. I have Pentograph. I would have healed back up. And at the shop, I might have gone crazy and bought... Uh, well, I would have definitely gotten Eye Like Shiny. I might have gotten a few extra collector bonuses. And there's absolutely nothing I can do, right? Let me see if... Well, I don't have any card draw, right? Let me... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can do. Can I change the RNG somehow? Because that might make the Inflame give me... Not the Inflame. The um, 
the Infernal Blade give me something else. I definitely need to play Feel No Pain, right? I definitely need to play Talk to the End and Battle Him. Those are givens. And I don't even... I can't meditate anything at the moment. So I have to play the... What? No, Dropkick doesn't help me either, right? Yeah, let's do Infer Infernal Blade. I guess... I guess do Perfected Strike? No, this is the best I can do. Even saving energy won't really help me here, right? What if I... Wait, I didn't have a defensive card next turn, right? I was gonna, uh, what if I had extra decks? That's, that's not going to save me either. Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything I can do. I just got a very bad draw. No defensive cards in the first two turns, and I got 25 incoming. Let me just make sure there's nothing I'm missing here. So, if I play all my attacks... Okay. And then the only other card that exhausts is the Tranquility. Yeah, just just nothing. Just exactly had enough HPS I'm getting incoming. That's a shame. I thought I was doing so well too. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the danger with an Insanity deck, right? You might end up with just a, a really bad draw. Let me see. I did end up with only three Collector Moses. That's um, actually very disappointing. Perfected five of the nine Elites. Um, could have had ten, of course. Uh, I did perfect all the bosses, and I feel sort of confident. Mostly I was hoping to buy a lot of uh, potions at the shop to help me against the final boss. So I feel confident I would have been able to perfect that one. But yeah, that's just a little disappointing. I have to admit, usually I die in runs where, you know, it's not going well. But today I thought it was going really well. Yeah, 230th. It's, which is not too bad for the fact that I died. But yeah, very disappointing. Anyway, let's review the scores from yesterday. Alright, so yesterday was an Ironclad run with the Specialized modifier that gave you 5 copies of Iron Wave, as well as the Flight modifier and Night Terrace. Uh, David did really well with 1708. I do have to admit, a lot of people did not do too well yesterday, but David just knocked it out of the park. Look at that. Uh, perfected 9 of the 11 elites, all the bosses, got curses, got 5 collector moves, which is quite a lot. Um, I wasn't able to get Overkill and Combo, but I don't think anybody was able to get Overkill and Combo yesterday. That would have been very difficult. There was a Demon form, so theoretically somebody could just wait for a long, for a long time, but yeah, nobody got that. Was able to get Popper, um, was able to get the Lightspeed modifier by 38 seconds, so congratulations there. Got I Like Shiny, Mr. Machine had exactly 15 question mark rooms just like I did, so that's that means that he wasn't maximizing question mark rooms at the end, he was just doing regular fights. Went for a traditional exhaust deck with the Ironclad, where, where the apparitions also helped a lot, and he picked up a few Dark Embraces. I only picked up one, I was definitely offered more than one, I should have done that. But yeah, just an amazing score, check out his Twitch stream and YouTube um, video. So yeah, congratulations, it's just a very amazing score yesterday. Then you have PGM with 1635, PGM perfected 7 of the 11 elites, uh, all the bosses, got 4 collector bonuses, which is not too bad, also went for curses. One of the collector bonuses was actually on the metallic size, and then interestingly, PGM uh, I guess either wasn't offered or didn't take the apparitions, and was able to get the stuff modifier with the feed. Um, but then also was able to remove the feed to get Popper. So yeah, that was a smart play there. Um, did lose the time modifier because of that, probably. He had to wait for a lot of fights to get the feed in the right turn, so that probably cost him some time. And then also had 17 collector bonuses, so ended up maximizing question mark rooms. Uh, sorry, not collector bonuses, I meant question mark rooms. So got Mr. Machine, ended up maxi maximizing question mark rooms yesterday. Uh, PJ mentioned that he took a clock or so near, and that ended up being very useful at the end, where he, together with Sacred Bark, drank a uh, potion to gain 10 extra decks permanently, uh, which is something that I didn't consider. Olay actually also pointed out that Clockwork Sonia can be a really powerful relic. I guess in that first shot where it was offered, I was sort of focused more on cards. Um, yeah, although even if I wasn't, I'm not sure if I would have taken Clockwork Sonia. That's something I should change my mind on a little bit. Then you have Peltzer with 1585. Pelts got three collector bonuses, also perfected all the bosses, and also got curses, but probably missed a few modifiers here and there. Then you have Mike here with 1435. Cosmino with 1339. Yeah, you can see the scores dropping off quite a bit. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to scroll down a little bit further because you have Goldberry and uh, Very Upset tied at 1258. Um, so Goldberry perfected only four of the 11 elites uh, and only one of the bosses, but got four collector bonuses. And uh, most importantly, he didn't die, which I think happened a lot in the last few days for a lot of people. And then Very Upset perfected two of the 11 elites, but made up the, that difference by perfecting an extra boss. Got three collector bonuses, and then interestingly, Very Upset was able to get the reigning money modifier, which means he had more than 2,000 gold, which means that he probably was able to get the normality event, which is interesting because I don't think I or others saw that. And then also got the Alex Shiny modifier and also had 15 question mark rooms, so got Mr. Machine as well. And then uh, you have Amel down here with 1235. 
And just for fun, I'm going to scroll down to my score yesterday, which is not recorded because it was a rerun, but I end up with 12-12. I perfected only two leads and none of the bosses got a little unlucky there. Uh, three collector bonuses, went for curses, and yeah, got Mr. Machine with 15 question mark rooms. Uh, I like shiny and uh, yeah, did okay, but that was a replay in my first attempt. I died very early on Act 1 and ended up with 59 points in 10,419th place. Uh, which I think is very impressive that there's still this many people playing a daily. Um, but yeah, a lot of us died early on Act 1. Um, I think the problem was I uh, was too excited of being able to perfect all the elites. So I decided to lose HP before the Hexagos at the very beginning. And um, yeah, I uh, ended up just not having enough HP and dying very quickly. Um, Anyway, uh, yeah, and then I should also mention a few other people died. Uh, you have uh, uh, Quirkus, who wrote a very nice poem that I pinned to yesterday's uh, comment, or yesterday's video, um, and I suspect the poem implies that uh, Quirkus also died. And then you also have Anti, who died um, to the Act 1 boss this time. Uh, Anti mentioned that he could have reloaded, but the run was not go going so well by that point, and so he just gave up and is probably going to attempt it today, and I think hopefully today he'll have more luck. Anyway, that's it for yesterday. Let me know in comments what you did for today. Um, what was your strategy? Did you have fewer cards in your opening hand? Also, I should have realized in the next shop that I would have had, I would have removed the right, so my opening hand was would have one less card, one less curse to deal with. Uh, what a shame. What a missed opportunity. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.